Taking the deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up and stretch your whole body. Stretch the body, gently turning to one side, please sit up. Let's together chant the prayer. Sit up straight, both the hands on your knees in chain mudra. Take a deep breath, inhale. Let's stand all together. Namami Vigneshwara Padu Pankajam 
When we exhale, we contract the abdomen end towards the spine. So in the Kapalabhati practice, after you inhale, the abdomen expands. And when I give the counting one, you need to forcefully pull the abdomen in and exhale out. On the count two, just release the abdomen for the passive inhalation. Let's get ready. Take a deep breath in here and begin. One, two, one, two. One Sit up straight, open the chest, take a deep breath, three fourth of your lungs, hold the breath very gently. Slowly with control, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. The next round of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one, two,
left exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight inhale left um one um two um three um four retain the breath close the nostrils keep the chest open shoulders roll back and sit up tall and straight Right, exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, right, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, left, um one, um two, um three, um four. Gently retain. Try to mentally repeat your personal mantra or the universal mantra, OM, for a better concentration. More you relax the body, lesser is the resistance to hold the breath. Through the right, exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, right, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain gently, close the nostrils. Relaxing the forehead, the top of the head, the back of the head and the neck muscles. Through the left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale left, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain. Relax your knees and the thighs and the hips. Gently lift your spine up. Through the right, exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Shoulders are rolled back. Sit up equally on both the sitting bones. Left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, left, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain gently. Flex the body. Flex the mind. Focus at the third eye center. Right, exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, eight, eight. Close the nostrils. Both the shoulders are in one line. Mentally visualize the way you are sitting. Correct yourself. Relax the body. Relax the mind. Through the left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale, um one, um two, um three, um four. Gently hold, close the nostrils. Do not tense any part of the body. Whichever part is tense, you block the flow of energy through that part. So making the most of this practice. Relax more, focus more, do the practice very mindfully. Through the right exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale right, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Left exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. Inhale left, um one, um two, um three, um four. Retain the last round. Right exhale, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight. 
inhale right um, one um, two um, three um, four again the last time through the left exhale um one um two um three um four um five um six um seven um eight release the hand down relax the body gentle breathing relax the mind mind is with lesser thoughts And please stretch your legs out, lie down on your back in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Mm -hmm. Your arms and legs comfortably apart, chin tucking in. Now focus on gentle, slow breathing. Every inhalation, feel the abdomen expand, abdomen rising up towards the ceiling. Every exhalation, contract your abdomen towards the spine. The spine sinks down. Follow this pattern of breathing. Enjoy the breath, not trying too hard to make the body tense. Shoulders relaxing, neck relaxing. Taking a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock the hands up, stretch your whole body. Move the toes forward, try to touch the toes down to the mat and pull the toes back in, push the heels out, press your back. Stretch your arms a little more, stretch your whole body. Release the stretch, hug the knees to the chest tightly. And now stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Exhaling, drop the knees to the right and the head to the left. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, knees down to the left, turn the head to the right. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, dropping the knees right, head to the left. Inhale up. Exhale to the other side, knees to the left, head to the right. Inhale up. One more time, exhale, drop the knees down. Release the feet completely down and ground the shoulders. Relax your neck muscles. And if your knees are too far away from the chest, just move the knees a little more up towards the chest of the shoulder and then straighten your legs out to the right side. Straighten your legs out. Catch hold of your toes, catch hold of your calves or the thighs. Just find your limit and be comfortable where you can breathe properly and your shoulders remain grounded. No tension in the neck muscles. Completely relax the body. We're treating this set practice in the beginning as a warm-up for the sun salutation. So just enjoy whatever possible, do that. Bend the knees, inhale, come up. Exhale, drop the knees to the left, drop the feet down, release the shoulders down and hold, breathe. Now move the knees a little more up towards the shoulder and open the legs out, catch hold wherever you can. Keep the shoulders grounded, neck muscles relaxed. Slow, deep breathing into the abdomen. Bend the knees, inhale, come up and hug the knees to the chest, press the back to the floor. Now bring the hands under the thighs and rock the body forward and backward. Listen to your body and go as far back up and over the head as the body may allow.
If you are more enthusiastic this morning, just two, three times, sit up in Paschimottanasana with your arms over the head, you are stretching. And then move back into Halasana. That's correct. Just go the, do with the rocking. Yes, that's right. And please stand up for the practice of sun salutation. First round of Surya Namaskar. Bring your feet together, inhale and exhale, hands to the chest in prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and reach down, align your toes and the fingers, hold it to the knees. Inhale, stretch your right leg back, right knee down, stretch your chin up, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, body in one straight line, plank pose. Exhaling, knees down, hips are up, chest directly between the hands, forehead or chin down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward between the hands, left knee down, stretch your chin up, left toes away. As you exhale, bring the left leg forward, press the hands down, shift your body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, three. Inhale, four. Hold the breath, five. Exhale, six. Inhale, seven. Exhale, eight. Left leg, inhale, nine. Exhale, ten. Stretching up, inhale, eleven, and arch back. Exhale, release, twelve. Inhale and exhale, hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back and look up. Hold the breath, left leg back into the plank. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back. Exhale, inverted V. Right leg, inhale, forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, three. Left inhale, back. Hold the breath, five. Other leg back. Exhale, six. Knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, seven, cobra. Exhale, eight, inverted V. Lift, leg inhale, forward, nine. Exhale, ten, the other leg forward, press down. Inhale, eleven, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back, push your hips forward, look up. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, three. Right, inhale, four. Hold the breath, five. Exhale, six. Inhale, seven. Exhale, eight. Right, leg inhale, forward. Exhale, the other leg forward. Stretch your arms up, inhale, arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, prayer position. Inhale, two, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, three, stretch forward and stretch down. Inhale, four, lift, leg back, look up. Hold the breath, five, other leg back. Exhale, six, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. 
Exhale, inverted V. Lift leg, inhale, forward nine. Exhale, ten, other leg forward. Stretch forward, stretch up, inhale, arch back. Exhale, release, fourth round, inhale. And exhale, hands to the chest in care. Inhale, two, stretch up and arch back. Exhale. Right leg inhale, back, hold the breath five. Exhale, six. Inhale, go breath. Exhale, and one, two, three. Right leg inhale, four. Exhale, the other leg four. Stretching up, inhale, arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, three. Left inhale, four. Hold the breath, five. Exhale, six. Inhale, seven. Exhale, eight. Left inhale, four. Exhale, ten. Stretch up. Eleven. Inhale. Arch back. Exhale. Release. Twelve. Fifth round. Inhale. And exhale. Prayer position. Inhale. Arms up and arch back. Exhale. Stretch forward and stretch down. Inhale. The right leg back. Look up. Hold the breath. Left. Exhale. Knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale. Cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Right leg inhale, forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, press down. Inhale, arch up and arch back. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, one. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward, stretch down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, go proud. Exhale, inverted V. Left inhale, forward. Exhale, the right. Stretch up. Inhale. Exhale. Last round, inhale and exhale one. Inhale two, arms up along the ears. Push your hips forward. Look up to the hands without dropping the head. Exhale, three, stretch your body forward, stretch down, align your toes and the fingers, pour it to the knees. If the hands don't reach down, comfortably bend the knees. Inhale, stretch your right leg back and stay there and breathe. Push the right leg more back, stretch your chin more up. Now watch the alignment of the left knee and the ankle. The knee is on top of the ankle. Keep breathing. Now see if you can push the right leg a little more back. Then lift your hands up, lift your chest up, place your hands on the left thigh. No pressure on the thigh, just a little support of your hands. Arch back. No, no, just arch back without lifting your hands up, arch back, drop the head back. If the leg is more away from the body, if the right leg is more away, the arching is very easy and comfortable. So first try to stretch the leg to your maximum and then arch back. Now place your hands down. Get the left leg back into the plank. Hold here for five deep breaths. Tuck the belly in, shoulders right on top of the wrist. Slowly exhale, drop the knees down. Hips are up, chest between the hands, directly down. Forehead or chin down. Gently slide your body forward. Inhale, arch back into cobra. Shoulders relaxing down. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips up, inverted V. Hold it there and breathe. Press the heels down, press the hands down, shift and pull your belly in. Try to knee, keep the knees straight, arms along the ears, that's very good. 
drawing the energy from the mother earth through the feet through the legs and through the arms and the spine lift that energy up meeting at the tailbone tailbone lifting up the next inhalation bring your right leg forward push the left leg more back align your right knee and the ankle stretch your chin more up and breathe on the exhalation bring your left leg forward stay there press your hands down shift your body weight forward you can bend the knees generously if the hands are not reaching down comfortably inhale stretch forward stretch up and arch back exhale release left side for the last time inhale and exhale prayer position inhale arms up along the ears push your hips forward look up to the hands without dropping the head exhale stretch your body forward and stretch down once again align your toes and the fingers hold it to the knees inhale stretch your left leg back look up stay there breathe and now see if you can push the left knee more back then bring your hands on the right thigh arch back drop the head back do whatever possible you feel it in the thigh the left thigh the inner thigh and now place your hands down get into the plank exhale drop the knees chest and the forehead down slide forward inhale arch back exhale inverted v once again couple of breaths stay there and breathe as i can see in the pinned videos uh knee should be straight and if you feel the feet are too far away from the hands just move your feet a little towards the hands make a nice v shape with your body it's different from the plank and the next inhalation bring your left leg forward push the right leg more back just two breaths stay there on the exhalation bring your other leg forward for a while stay there shift your body weight forward fold it to the knees and if your knees are bent this time try to straighten the right knee take your time try to straighten the left knee without lifting your hands up fold it towards the knees now the next inhale lengthen forward inhale stretch up pull up with your waist arms along the ears push your hips forward without dropping the head look up arch back all the way that's very good slowly exhale release separate your feet apart take a breather relax your body and please slowly sit down and lie down on your back in shavasan arms apart legs apart Slow down the breathing more. Breathing into the tightness and the tension. Just take a while to scan your body from toes to the head. Completely let go and relax.
Take a deep inhale, slide your legs together, interlock the hands up, give a long stretch to the body. Stretch your whole body, stretch, stretch. Release the stretch, get ready for the single leg raises. Fix the arms close to the body, palms facing down. Feet together, toes pointing up, chin tucking in. Work with your abdomen, inhale, lift your right leg straight up. Push the heel out, exhale, release the leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down, right leg up, inhale, exhale down, left leg up, inhale, exhale down, right leg up, inhale, hold the right thigh and pull the leg close to the body. On the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, walk the hands up and come up. Push the right thigh, uh, push the left thigh down and pull the right leg in, shoulders and neck relaxing, knees are nicely straight, toes are pulled in, every exhalation squeeze the abdomen, allow the leg to come closer towards the head, Slowly exhale, release the head down, hug the knee to the chest. Now stretch your right arm in line with the shoulder and with your left hand, pull the right knee down to the left side of your body. Turn the head to the right, right shoulder presses down. You may place the right foot just touching the left thigh or place it on the floor. Find your comfort wherever you have to. Completely relax the body and breathe into the air. Inhale, slowly come back up. Hug the knee once to the chest. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. With control, exhale, release the right leg down. Get the left leg up, inhale, support the left thigh and bring the leg closer to the body. On the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up, hands more up. Stay there, relax, wherever possible, just hold and breathe comfortably. Push the right thigh closer down, both the knees are nicely straight, all ten toes towards the head. Chin is gently stretching up towards the left toes. And slowly exhale, release the head down, hug the knee to the chest. Now stretch your left arm in line with the left shoulder. With your right hand, bring the left knee to the right side. You may hook the foot behind the right thigh or just place it on the right thigh or place it on the floor. Looking towards the left, left shoulder presses down. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, hug the knee to the chest. Inhale, stretch your leg up. And exhale, release the leg down. Now stretch your arms over the head. Get ready for the double leg raises. So we'll just lift the arms up without lifting the head and chest. So inhale, lift your legs up and lift your arms up towards the feet. Exhale, release the legs, release the arms over the head. Inhale, legs up, arms up, fingers pointing to the feet. 
Exhale, release the legs down, arms over the head. Third time, up inhale, legs up, arms up, fingers pointing to the feet. Exhale, go down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. Take rest for a breath and then mentally prepare to lift your head up, chest up also along with the legs and the arms. Get ready. Inhale, lift your legs up, head up, chest up. Fingers pointing to the feet. Now, castle. Exhale, go down with your arms over the head. Inhale, come up, legs up, head up, chest up, fingers pointing to the feet. Tuck the belly in, relax your neck. Exhale, go down with arms over the head. Third time up, inhale. We'll do this six times. Exhale, go down. Fourth time up, inhale. Exhale, release down. Fifth time up, inhale. Exhale down, doing very well, don't give up. Last time up, inhale. Exhale, release down. Relax in Shavasan. And mentally prepare to hold the Nok Asan for a few breaths. Just take a breather. Now, again, get ready with your legs together. Arms either over the head or just close to the body, wherever you feel comfortable. Inhale, lift your legs up, head up, chest up, point the fingers to the feet. So here, let's make a 60 degrees angle with the floor, the legs and the upper body. Tuck the belly in, relax your neck muscles. Shoulders away from the ears. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one, and slowly come down. Shav Asan, turn the head side to side. And now bend the knees to the chest, hug the knees tightly. Place the feet, hip distance apart on the mat. Separate your arms in line with the shoulders. Exhale, drop the knees to the right, turn the head to the left. And now move your uh, foot more up towards the hip or the shoulder. And use your right foot to press the left thigh down. Inhale, come back up. And on the exhalation, release the knees to the left side. This time, move the right foot more up towards the right hip and press the right thigh with your left foot. Shoulders pressing down. Now relax. Slowly release, inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the knees to the chest. Stretch your legs up, inhale. And with control, exhale, release the legs down. Taking a deep inhalation, interlock the hands up, give a long stretch to the body, let's roll over and relax into the child pose, Shishankasana. If your hips rest down comfortably on the heels, your arms can be close to the body with palms facing up. And now please sit up for the practice of headstand. Let's follow the steps.
sitting up on the heels, measure your elbows along the knees. Stretch your arms forward, interlock the hands. Lift your hips up, place the top of the head down, back of the head rest on the hands. <laughs> now tuck the toes in, lift the knees up. Walk forward until the back is straight. Keep walking. That's very good. Bend the right knee to the chest. Stay there and breathe. Even the beginners can come to this level. So everybody try up to this point. And whenever you are ready, find your balance. Bend the left knee to the chest. Knees moving up towards the ceiling. And then open the legs up into the headstand. That's very good. Hold the body still for two minutes. Keep the belly tucked in. Relax your legs. If you're comfortable enough, close your eyes and enjoy the practice. Very soon, we'll put up a workshop on headstand so that you get a chance to learn the steps and come up with a half headstand at least. Now let's go ahead with variation. If possible, just stretch your legs wide apart. Go slow, find your balance. That's very good. Slowly bring the legs together. Bend the knees, join the soles together. No? Okay. Into the child pose. Follow the steps to roll out of the posture. And please sit up, relax in Shavasana, arms apart, legs apart. Turn the head side to side. Take a deep breath, slowly bring the legs together, interlock the hands up and stretch your whole body. Do a nice deep stretch, get ready for the shoulder stand cycle. Arms close to the body, feet together, toes pulled in, chin tucked in. Sarvangasana, inhale, lift both your legs up. Exhale, swing the trunk up and support your back into the shoulder stand. Now adjusting the body, bend the knees to the forehead, bring the elbows closer, hands more down. And lift your legs up again whenever you feel ready. Try to push your hips forward towards the head to align the body. 
and slowly gently transferring the body weight from elbows completely to the shoulders releasing all the resistance to hold the posture become more comfortable make it easier by shifting the body weight to the shoulders focus on the throat region stimulating thyroid and parathyroid glands in the throat which are responsible for controlling maintaining the weight of the body the calcium levels in the body and the metabolism of the body relax your feet relax your calves close your eyes and still for few more breaths lengthening up a little higher as you inhale on the exhalation release the right leg over the head go with control inhale the right leg up exhale the left leg down inhale the left leg up once again exhale the right leg over the head inhale up exhale the left leg down inhale come up lengthen up adjust your hands on the exhalation slowly gently release the legs into the plow halasan over the head go slow find your control settle down maybe your arms interlocking away or just keep the arms down parallel to each other palms down or palms up walk towards the head with your toes push the knees away from the forehead lift the tailbone more up keep breathing into the abdomen now support your back inhale come up into the shoulder stand and very slowly exhale down into the setu bandhasana that's very good body lifted up feel the arch in your back walk your feet closer hold your ankles knees and thighs squeezing closer hips lifting up higher keep breathing and slowly exhale release down prepare for chakrasan place the hands under the shoulders Heels close to the hips, feet apart, hip distance. Inhale, lift your hips up and come up. Press the hands, lift up higher. So breathe. Om um, ten. Om um, nine. Om um, eight. Om um, seven. Om um, six. Om um, five. See if you can lift your right leg up. And slowly exhale, release down. bring the knees to the chest hug the knees tightly 
On the exhalation, lift your head up, chest up, come up, make a tight, small energy ball with your body, press your back to the mat, Pavanuttasana. Squeeze your abdomen, chin, nose or forehead towards the knees, shoulders away from the ears, back completely pressing down. Slowly exhale, release the head down, inhale, stretch your legs up, and with control, exhale, release the legs down. Giving a counter stretch to the body in the shoulder stand series, Matsyasan, the fish pose. Bring your arms under the body, elbows closely tucked in, hands stretching down. Head up, chest up, inhale, come up on your elbows, look to the toes. Exhale, arch your back, release the crown down. Chest is nice and lifted up. Breathe deeply and slowly, stretching each of your inhalations and your exhalations. No pressure on the head. Most of the body weight is on your elbows. Keep breathing. Strengthening the neck. Breathe. Just a couple of breaths more. Keep pressing down on your arms whenever you feel any pressure on the neck. And as you inhale, lift your head up, chest up, come up. Look to the toes. Exhale, release your head down. Release your arms, twist your hands, roll the wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise. Turn the head gently side to side. Relax in Shavasana. Let's relax in Supta Bhattakonasan. Bend the knees, join the soles together. Completely let go in the shoulders, in the spine. Relax the inner thighs. Allow the knees to come closer down. Actively breathing and completely relaxing. your legs forward, interlock the hands up, take a deep inhalation, give a long stretch to the body. Gently sit up, roll to one side or sit up straight. Joining the soles together for the butterfly. And now stretch your left leg out. Hold the right leg up in your arms for the rocking baby. Try to lift the leg a little more up. And now stop rocking. Try to move the leg more up. Just be, feel more flexible in the hip joint right side and press it into the chest. Now hold the right foot with both your hands, push the right knee away from the body towards the wall behind. Now keeping the, holding the right foot with the right hand alone, stretch your left arm to hold the left toes. Akkandhanurasan. Keep pushing the right knee away from the body to feel it in the right side of the hip joint. Wonderful work to the spine, to the neck. Slowly release. Interchange your legs. Stretch the right leg out. Bend the left knee. Hold the left leg in your arms. Rock the baby. So just visualize the way you held your babies when they were small. If you're holding the baby like this, the babies will not be happy. You become younger with so much work on the spine.
Now still the body by moving the leg more up towards the chest. Hold the left foot with both your hands and push the left knee away from the body towards the wall behind. Do your best. Allow the body, the hip joint to relax. And now stretch your right arm to hold the right toes. Keep pushing the left knee away. That's very good. Slowly release. Stretch both your legs out. Stretch your arms up, inhale, stretch up. Feet together, toes pointing up, arms stretching up. And exhale from the base of the spine, extend forward and reach down. Holding comfortably wherever you reach. Few breaths of adjustment, then completely stilling the body. No tension in the spine, shoulders or the neck. Keep the elbows bending. And remember the stretch is not from the shoulders at all. The stretch is from the base of the spine. Push the knees down, push the heels out, pull the toes in. And then settle down with your breath just for a few seconds. Every exhalation, squeeze the abdomen, massaging the abdominal lungs and stretching more forward with the inhalation. Slowly, stretch forward, stretch up. Exhale, release the hands behind. Drop the head back and lift your hips up, come up. Incline plane, put Bhattanasana, get the feet flat down. That's very good. Breathe. Om 10, Om 9, Om 8, Om 7, Om 6, Om 5, Om 4, Om 3, Om 2. Turn the body to the right. Side face posture. Take your time. Lift your hips up. Not possible today. Just it's okay. Release it. Let's try for the other side. Turn the body to the other side. Oh, that's very good. Try to align your arms a little more. You're doing very well. And slowly release down. Turn to the other side. And come up. Try to push your hips a little more forward. Body is not in one line, as I can see. You're doing very well. Slowly exhale, come down. Relax on your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands. Turn the head to the right. Bend the right knee up towards the right chest or the right elbow. Matsi Kriyadasan pose. Relax. And now stretch your right leg out to the right side. Try to catch hold of the right toes with your right hand. Pull the right leg more up towards the head. Your, your head can be placed here itself or if you are not comfortable, turn it to the other side. Just do whatever your head likes to. Slowly release and get ready for Bhujangasana, the first back bend. Pour it down, tuck your elbows in towards the chest, fingertips in line with the shoulders. Feet together, toes pointing away. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up and come up. Press the lower abdomen down, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe. Now lift your hands up. Keep pressing the top of the feet down and the lower abdomen down to lift your chest more up. 
Use the strength of your back. Hold it. And slowly release the hands down, release the head down. Get your hands near the waist. Separate your legs mat with apart. We'll come up in Triyaka Bhujangasana. Inhale, head up, chest up, abdomen lifted up, elbows straight, shoulders away from the ears. Now, on the exhalation, twist your body to the right. Use your waist to twist, look to the left foot. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist to the left. Look to the right foot. Inhale, come back. And exhale, release down. Turn the head to the left side. Bend the left knee up towards the chest. Stay there and breathe and relax. Now stretch your, stretch your left leg out, catch hold of your left toes with your left hand. Pull the leg more up and adjust your head either to the right or to the left. Please slowly release the posture. Get ready for the next backward bend. Chalab asana the locust. Draw the arms under the body. Elbows closely tucked in. You can either interlock the fingers or fist your hands or place the hands down. Stretch your chin forward. Toes pointing away with feet together. Half locust. Inhale. Lift your right leg straight back and up. Try not to twist your hips. Exhale, release the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Bend the left knee, place the left foot on the right thigh. Hold and breathe. Try to shift the body weight to your chin. Release the support, exhale, release the leg down. Adjust your arms more in, left leg up, inhale. Support the left thigh with your right foot and breathe. Excellent way to release the lower back pain. Slowly, release the leg down, release the support. Adjust your body. Recharge the body. Taking two deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Get ready. Inhale. Lift both your legs up and come up into the full locus shalabhasana. That's very good. Stay there. Keep pressing your arms to lift up higher. Chin resting down. Stay for 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come down. Release your arms, make a pillow with your hands, turn the head to one side, relax with big toes touching, heels falling apart. Get ready for the last backward bend, Nanurasan. The bow pose. Forehead down, bend the knees, hold your ankles. Inhale, lift your knees up, thighs up, head up, chest up, come up. Very good. Keep lifting the knees and thighs more up, chest more up, chin more up, relax your face, close your eyes. Stay, breathe, Om 10. Om oh, 9, 
Om 8. Om 7. Om 6. Om 5. Om 4. Om 3. Om 2. Om 1. Slowly come down. Place the hands under the shoulders. Give a nice stretch to the body. Coming up on the knees and the hands in Marjriyasana, stretch your body twice and then relax into the wide angle extended child pose. Knees apart, toes, big toes touching, heels falling apart, sitting between the heels, extend your spine forward, arms forward, chin or the forehead down. Your hips should be resting down on the heels. Please slowly sit up. Let's get ready for the half spinal twist. Drop the body down to the right side. Bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand close to the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist your body to the left. Lean forward, push the knee with your upper arm. Hold the ankle. Look beyond the left shoulder and breathe. So here we are modifying the half spinal twist. If you have any problem in the knee or if you are a beginner, just go ahead with the posture that you see in the picture. Keep breathing, keep twisting the body more, sitting equally on both the sitting bones. Knee is close to the chest. Feel the pressure on the abs. Inhale, stretch your right arm up. Exhale, release and change the side. Sitting on the left, bring your right foot across the left thigh. Place the right hand close to the tailbone. Lift your left arm up, inhale, exhale, twist to the right, lean forward, push the knee with your ankle, uh, elbow and hold the ankle. Look beyond the right shoulder. Twist, relax and breathe, breathe and relax and twist. Enjoy the practice, enjoy the pressure that you're feeling right now on the abdomen. There is no weight on the hand behind. So sit up on the sitting bones. Don't make it easier with your hand falling to the back, uh, with your weight falling to the hand. Now to release, inhale, get your left arm up. Exhale, release, hug the knees to the chest. Sit up straight. Look to the right shoulder. Look to the left shoulder. Rest with the forehead down to the knees for a while. And let's get ready for the crow pose. Come up into the squatting position. If you're a beginner, please place the cushion in front or even if you are an advanced student, if you're not comfortable with the crow, please place the cushion. Making a rough square with your feet and the hands, hands turn slightly inwards, fingers are open. Shift your body weight from toes to the hands. Only if you're comfortable enough, lift one foot up. And if you are more comfortable, lift the other foot up. If you go step by step, it becomes easier. If you jump, you're not going to get anywhere. That's very good. Slowly release and stand up. Using the length of the mat for Trikonasana,
feet apart, three to four feet. Turn the right foot to the right. Left foot turn slightly inwards. Hip is facing forward. Stretch your left arm up along the ear. Lengthen the entire left side. On the exhalation, release down to the right side. Allow the right hand to move more down the right leg. Left upper arm and the ear in one line. Look in front or adjust your neck for your own comfort. Looking to the top of the towards the top of the ceiling from under the armpit. That's very good. Keep the left elbow straight. Left palm facing down. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release. Change the side. Stretch your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, release down to the left. Adjust your body comfortably and align your hips parallel to the wall. Keep breathing. Lateral stretch to the spine. Increasing the flexibility of the hip. Regular practice reduces the flat foot. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, release. Bring both the legs together and come in front. Time for final relaxation. Stretch your arms forward. Let's sit down on a baby chair in count five, four, three, two, one. Stay there. Squeeze your knees and thighs together and push your hips down. That's very good. On five, on four, on three, on two, on one. Slowly sit down. Lie down on your back in Shavasana, arms apart and the legs apart. Time for final relaxation. Time to rest and relax. Slow down the body, slow down the breath. Now to tense the body parts, lift your right foot up, right leg up, tense the right leg, tense and drop it down. Lift the left leg up, tense it, tense it and drop it down. Squeeze the hips tight up, tighten it up and slowly exhale, release down. Press the small of the back down, release. Lift your chest up, drop it down. Squeeze the shoulders to the ears, push the shoulders down, lift your arms up. Clench your fingers tight around the thumbs, tighten your fist, open your fingers and tense your arms. Tense and drop it down. Make a tight, ugly face, squeeze all the facial muscles to the nose. Tight, tight, release. Open your mouth wide, open your eyes wide. Stretch your tongue out, look to the forehead, stretch your face. Relax. Move the shoulders more down, gently turn the head to the right. And turn the head to the left. Back to the center. Make the final adjustment to the body. Once again, scan the body from toes to the head. Release all the tension, all the tightness. Slow down the breath more. Let go in the mind. Releasing all what you don't need for this mind in the body. And feeling light. Mental suggestion to the body parts. For the next five to six minutes, we'll completely still the body with no further movement. Relax the toes, relax the soles, the heels, and the ankles. Relax. Relaxing the shin bones, the calf muscles. Relax the knees, the thigh muscles. Relax the hips and the hip joint. Relax. 
Move the awareness to the back. Relax the lower back. Middle back. Upper back. Relax each vertebra in the spine. Relax. Relax in the abdomen and the chest. Now bring the awareness to your arms. Relax the fingers, the palms, the wrist. Relax in the forearms, elbows, and the upper arms. Relax. Relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. the neck and the throat, relax the back of the head, top of the head, the forehead, the eyes, the eyelids, nostrils, cheeks, the ears, relax the jaw, relax the tongue, Tongue floating freely in the mouth. Relax. Moving the awareness deeper to the internal organs in the body. Send awareness to each organ in the abdomen to relax. the lungs, relax the heart, relax the brain, try to let go of the thoughts, relax in the mind, relax, back to the body, breathing a little more deeply, check out your toes and the fingers, slide your feet together, interlock the hands up, 
the panel a gentle stretch to the body rolling to one side please sit up for the prayer to end the class Let's stand home together. Thanks to our gurus, Hari Om Tatsa. Thanks to everybody present this morning.